This is the least component of Eco Dishwasher. First, we have frame that made from steel. Casing that made from aluminium plate 0.8 mm. DC motor cover as a outer casing and to store the electrical component. Blade cover to cover and locate the shaft of DC motor. Tray as a component to store plate. Tray part to move the plate in 30 degree. DC motor to use to blend the food waste. DC motor 30 degree to move the tray mechanism in 30 degree. Blade to process the food waste. Soap tank to refill the soap. Water filter to filter the water and avoid clogging. Water sprinkler to inject the high pressure water to wash the plate. Motor pump to pump the soap or detergent. Soap dispenser to inject the detergent. Adjustable base to fit the machine into the sink. Soap tank lid have a hole at the center. Top lid for organic food waste. Main top lid the largest one. Shaft lock mechanism to lock the tray. Clip to avoid the shaft from move out. Hand pull to open and close the lid. Long bolt to tighten up the cover. Hinge used for the lid. Spring to control the level of plastic holder. Pipe hose as a fluid root. Butterfly nut to tighten up the adjustable base. Plastic holder to attach the plastic. Reverter as a joint medium. Rubber seal to avoid leaking. Screw. Sliding gear as a part of tray mechanism. Tube hanger to hold the soap dispenser. Eco dishwasher. This is the exploded view of the machine which have 87 parts including screw and riveter. Top lid start moving, holder, casing, bolt, DC motor, organic fork waste lid, water pump, hinge, Casing, frame, water dispenser, plastic holder, DC motor to take degree, water sprinkler, and tray. This is the part when the machine start to collapse. This machine has 7 slots to wash the plate and there is some space to wash the glass. Adjustable base To use the adjustable base, the base was pulled until fit into the sink like that and tighten up using the butterfly nut at the bottom of the machine. The machine also have two rubber sheets at both ends which is left and right to avoid the vibration from the machine. Machine This is the soap tank that we can refill easily. The top lid have a hole that make the detergent flow smoothly due to the pressure inside. In the main space, there is some component which is soap, dispenser, tray, water sprinkler. In the organic slot, there is blade 
and plastic holder to attach the plastic to keep the food waste after the blend. This is the slot to store the electrical component. This is the level to know either the food waste is full or not. It is easier to know without open the lid. Mechanism inside the machine which is tray mechanism. Tray mechanism was controlled by DC motor which can be set through coding. This is angle just to make sure the plate can clean perfectly without any dirt from the foot. Picture show the clip slot at the end of the shaft. This is show how clip was attached to the shaft. This is the design to avoid the shaft from out. This picture show the shaft parallel with the surface of the tray. DC motor 30 degree. DC motor 30 degree was operated by using sliding gear and this device likely water resistant which can operate in wet condition. Mathematical. This is mathematical analysis which show flow rate of the water, velocity progress and how fast it flow through the water sprinkler. And for the last part is finite element analysis which analyze the mechanism of the tray. First one show the deformation of the tray in y axis and this one show the strain of the tray and for the last one is show the equivalent stress of the tray. Electrical Then I will explain about the electrical circuit. So this is the electrical circuit for this machine, which is contains motor, DC motor, Arduino motor, and switch. Actually, we have three switch, which is for one for to blend the food waste to make the organic fertilizer. Second switch is for wash the dish and the third switch for reset the system so this this system use power supply 240 AC current and convert to DC current 24 volt and convert to 5 volt to supply to the Arduino when we when we put the foot waste into this into this slot and then actually the button was located here and then we push the button 
and then it will blink in 5 seconds and then it will blend the food away. so this is the function of the machine, one of the function of the machine to process the food waste to convert it into the organic fertilizer we will show you for a second time when I press the button it will blink 5 seconds and it will blend the food waste and then the food waste will flow, flow down flow down into the plastic that store in the machine so that's all the function. Thank you. Okay, so this system consists of DC motor, power supply, DC DC converter, relay, Arduino, Arduino sheet switch and 3 LED so the function of the DC motor is to blend the food base and the function of this power supply is to convert the AC current from 224 volt to 24 volt and then it will convert by the DC DC converter to 5 volt to supply to the Arduino this Arduino use 5 volt and it supply 5 volt to the board and this is the relay to control the rotating of the motor actually this system have three switch which is one for blend the food waste second switch is for wash the plate and the third switch for reset the system the first LED is show that this, the system is turned on the second LED show that the system will running on and the third LED will show that the system will be reset when I press the first button the LED will blink in 5 seconds and then the motor will rotate to blend the food waste and then the food waste will fall will flow down into the plastic and ready to use as a organic fertilizer and there are some function of this system that we cannot show because of we cannot have the part since COVID-19 I will show you later thank you circuit. this is the electrical circuit for this machine that designed by using the Fritzing software